We understand. No problem. I mean, not everybody needs to know my business. We can talk out here. It's fine. You want to ask me about Monroe, right? Yes, ma'am. Friday night, I was right here. So it wasn't me. But I'll tell you something, the bastard had it coming. Why? Because it was a slime ball. All that soft talk. We're impressed with your work, Sarah. You have a bright future here, Sarah. Then the arm around you, the hand on your knee. And you don't think about it. You just say, oh, you know, it's just because he likes me. You make yourself stupid because you want to keep your job. I understand you filed a sexual harassment suit. For a year, I put up with his hands, his dirty comments. And then one night, he turned on me. I went all out, had my dress half torn away before I could get out of there. So you filed suit? No. Not even then. Next day, I went back to work. Nothing was said. I... Good, I thought. He's going to leave you alone. But in my next paycheck, there was a pink slip. Then I filed suit. At the hearing, he said I had encouraged him. And since we couldn't find anybody else to testify, it was his word against mine. They took his. One night, he tries to rape you. And the next day, I went back to work. You want to know why? I mean, look at this place. Look at me. You think I would rather be, be a waitress than a research technician? I loved working at Centrex. I felt special. I was proud of that job, of myself. He had no right. It's no right. Well, if you hear anything... Don't worry. When you catch the killer, let me know. I want to give him a medal.